in this very final video of this sequence <clears throat> and this introductory week, I'd like to mention two concepts that will occur throughout the whole semester. Using a list inside a class is actually quite a big concept that's going to run and run through the Java. So make sure you are familiar with lists, but look at this particular pattern in many different combinations, which we will do next week. Um, from the point of view of um, classes, we tend to write them using uh, this kind of block notation. We give the name of the class, the variables and the method. So the class we've been looking at is a stick figure and the member variables are head, body, etc. And down here are the methods, things like draw, undraw, uh, move, colour, etc. Now, in these um, lecture notes, we'll be using a, a, a variation on this just to help you understand and separate out the various different elements. Um, another point, and a final point, please, please get into the habit of doing this. Over here, you have your class file and that's a Python one. That's your definition of your class and all the stuff going on inside the class. Over here you have a test Python file for that class and it creates, it imports that class into here and crucially it can then use that class inside the code here. Try to get into this idea that we are trying to work with two files from here on in, not a single file. I emphasise this because it helps you also separate the idea of server, code that does stuff, and clients, code that uses server code. And this separation is quite important as, you're, as you go into programming and developing a grasp of how architectures work and what software does. Um, and I think, actually, that's probably the end of the first week. Um, I, would be pa I would patiently go through it, work through as many examples, play with the code, edit code, and so on, in order to get familiar.